Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I, we're gonna do something different today. I'm gonna release this video today. We're gonna do a quick five lap, five lap, five lap race around Baku City Circuit because uh, today it was the Baku Grand Prix, and if you guys didn't see it, man, try to figure out how to watch it because it was an amazing race. So many things happened. It was just F1 at its finest. I truly believe. Also, with that being said, guys, like I know I normally stream Sunday nights, there won't be a stream tonight. Again, it's like in the high 90s, and it is wicked warm in my house. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's just completely miserable. Uh, I only have one room in the house that has air conditioner right now. I'm probably not going to be able to get a big enough air conditioner for my house this year. So, as long as we have this high heat, I I'm probably going to say that it's going to affect my streaming. I'll get videos out, definitely, but for streaming, man, it's just too hot for me to want to uh, do anything like that. So, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do this race, and I'll put commentary over it because the fan's blowing right on me, and I don't want you hearing that. Hopefully, you're not hearing it right now. I'm kind of walking away from it, but uh, yeah. So, we're going to do this race. We're going to be in a McLaren. We're going to be racing as Lando Norris. And uh, sit back and enjoy, guys. With the drivers currently lining up on the grid, it's almost time to begin today's race event here. We're on the winding streets of Baku. The Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Anthony Davidson alongside me as always to talk you through the action? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? And let's see who's able to keep their tyres in that temperature sweet spot early on. You've got a great tyre warmer underneath your right foot and the drivers need to make the most of that on the formation lap, lest they see themselves skating wide at turn one on cold rubber. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Just edging out Alexander Olbon, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Hamilton, Magnussen, Ocon, Grosjean, and Lando Norris, Ricardo, Sainz, Sergio Perez, and Stroll, Russell, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat, and Kimi Raikkonen, Latifi, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Like right, I see we are starting at P10 as Lando Norris at the Baku Grand Prix pre and five red lights and away we go. So, that's a pretty good start. contact with uh, Hamilton nothing major though so we're not doing too bad actually and I want to say right off the bat that I have never raced on this track I've done the time trials and I, I've practiced a little bit on here but I've never actually raced so I'm taking a big chance here just getting into a race but I really wanted to you know get with other cars and stuff like that I didn't want to just right around the track by myself I'd like to say guys if uh, if you missed today's Grand Prix uh, try to figure out how to watch a replay of it because man it was so good so good now I am not at all good with these uh, street courses especially when they get tight like that that's why I am just not even looking forward to racing in Monaco, because that track well, just gives me nightmares. But yeah, we're not doing too bad. We started in P10, now we're in P7. 
And like I said, I'm not expecting a whole hell of a lot out of this race. This track is difficult for even the professionals. I mean, the qualifying rounds in uh, Baku on Saturday, my god, they were littered with red flags. It was just a real fiasco. I believe they said during the race today that that's like a, a 1.4 mile straightaway. That is a pretty long straightaway right there. Oh, there we go. There's a mistake. A little bit of damage to that front wing. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Yes, I just said that, Jeff. So many 90 degree corners, just really tricky. I really enjoy the track though, and I just love the flow of it and the atmosphere, how it goes through the city like this. I mean, it's just, it's just really nicely done. And I gotta say, when you watch the Grand Prix and they have all the different camera angles, like they're showing you from the tops of the buildings, and through uh, the castle there, oh man, it's just, it's just really neat. I would have to say if I ever wanted to attend an F1 race, I think this is probably the race I'd like to attend. So, so far so good. Uh, we're only on lap two. And, you know, we're... We're just uh, hanging in there. We have nice clean air in front of us. That is a fast section right there. It's really easy to lose control too, especially if you're me. <laughs> okay, so. okay, focus. We need to stay on form. DRS is now enabled. Alright, so I couldn't get that position back. That's okay. Ricardo, he was he was itching to get past me for a while now. So now we drop back to P8. We have DRS and uh, see right there. I, I made a mistake. I tried to go around him, which it was just dumb. There was no way I could go around him anyway. Just my racecraft and everything just needs to get a lot better. And unfortunately, because it's been so dang hot, I haven't been playing this a lot because, honestly, you race one race with the force feedback wheel, man, and you are just sweating your rear end off, not going to lie. And with as hot as it's been, man, I just... Oh, there we go. Hit the wall. I just haven't... Uh, I haven't really been in the mood to get the wheel out. <laughs> and okay, Reese's races. Front wing damage, but not enough to justify a stop in the remaining laps. Are you sure about that, Jeff? There you go. How's that? Is that better? Oh man. Oh boy. And that was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Damn. That's it, guys. End of the race. But not really, because I decided to use the flashback. I don't normally use flashback. But you know what? <laughs> we were just having fun. So I said, you know what? Why not? Like, if I was in career mode, I wouldn't have used the flashback. But and in this case, I mean, it really did help us. I'm not, I'm not a professional sim racer here, so why not? And there goes the other Renault passing me. Ocon, and now we are P9. Ooh, and behind us, they are three wide. That looks like that's a... Aw, oh, and see? 
that looks like Perez actually came up on me too quick and kind of spun me around there, so that's unfortunate. I will say that, like right there, man, with the front wing being damaged, I do feel like that the car is not handling well at all. <laughs> Jeff, he lied to me. He said it'd be okay. Jeff, why do you lie so much? Oh, well. I'm still having fun. Still enjoying it. There's no way in hell that I would have imagined doing a race on this track. And doing really well anyway. Just with the way this track is. I mean, I'm fine with you passing me, but you didn't have to spin me out, dude. I mean, what the hell? Can't we be friends? I mean, I guess not, because if you watch the, uh, the F1 documentary series on Netflix, man... It doesn't seem like these guys have a lot of love for each other. <laughs> Not at all. Like, obviously they show concern when someone gets into a bad crash or something like that, but man, they don't... I don't know. Alright, so now everybody is just... passing me. And there's a hell of a fight going on behind me. There are three wide yet again, you can see in the rear view mirror. So hopefully, them three fighting each other will keep them uh, kind of off my rear end a little bit here. Because <laughs> I don't need anybody coming out, anybody else coming up and uh, smacking into me. See, that's what I have to get better at. I was starting to, I was starting to get a little better at it before racing, and uh, you know, learning to, to keep my distance and learning how to race with people in close proximity. But like I say, man, if you if you just, if you let off it for a couple weeks, when you're not, like, already really confidently good at it, you know, it's easy to lose the little bit that you learned. Oh, right into the wall. Yeah, and see, it's like the, the car okay, is keep definitely... Going. He might make a mistake. Now, Jeff, you know I'm the one that's going to make the mistake. See? See? I told you. I told you. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. Are you all right? Okay, Sit well, I don't want no time penalty, so I'll just crash out. All right, guys, so that's that. That's, uh, I couldn't even make it five laps around there, but, you know, as I said before, man, it's just, I've never raced around this track before. And I, I completely suck at it, but it was a lot of fun, and I don't think I did actually too bad for never racing around it before. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.